Welcome back. This morning we're remembering Trini Lopez, a singer, musician, actor, and a Coachella Valley icon who passed away. Manny the movie guy sat down with him before he died. He made more than 80 albums, sold millions of copies, appeared in TV and movies, designed Gibson guitars, and even got a shout out from the Golden Girls. Hey, if you could buy a celebrity at an auction, I'd be showering every morning with Trini Lopez. And sadly, the icon has passed away. I met the artist and Coachella Valley resident last year, along with his songwriting partner, Joe Chavira, at the historic Club Trinidad. I was born and raised in Dallas, and that's where I got my first uh, person to try to help me with my career, Buddy Holly. At what age? 15, right? I was about 18. 18, okay. 17. So, uh -huh. Wow, you're like the Justin Bieber of the time. <laughs> His affiliation with <laughs> Buddy Holly life. paved the way to meeting Frank Sinatra, who released his chart-topping records. And that's when I got all those hits. Then Hollywood came calling with countless TV specials and roles in films like The Dirty Dozen. Trini Lopez as Jimenez. He's crawling with hate. Soon, the folk rock artist and guitarist moved to the Coachella Valley and even wrote a song about the desert. Coachella we are saddened to hear the passing of Trini Lopez. I met him last year before my birthday, and I will always remember the gregarious man who sang me a birthday song. Happy birthday! the movie guy for NBC Palm Springs. You. Okay. <laughs> My favorite song was Lemon Tree. Anybody remember that one? Very pretty.